In this video, I'm going to discuss why the ACT math section is, you know, pretty hard. You know, we have students in calculus that are even struggling with these basic problems. And that's because this is not just a math test. You know, the first 10 questions, 15 might be more, you know, similar to what, what you might see in your math class. So after that, it gets into what we call a reasoning test. So you use your reasoning to solve this. You might know the equation, but do you understand it? So let's take a look at what I mean. So let's take a look at this first problem. This is one that might appear in the first 10 questions of the ACT match section. Okay, so it says, what is the mean of 15, 12, 22, 30, and 18? So we all know what the mean probably is, you know, average, same as average. It's the average of these numbers. Okay, how do you find the average? You add up all the numbers, so that's the sum of the numbers, and divide by how many there numbers there are. Okay, so that'd be the count of the numbers. So sum divided by count will give you your mean. Okay, so that's you know pretty straightforward. You know, let's take the 15 plus 12 plus 22 plus 30 plus 18. How many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our count is 5. Okay, we add these together on top. This is 97 divided by 5. You can just put that in your calculator. That gives you 19.4. Okay, so that's you know straightforward, like I said. So find the mean of a data set. So this problem says, what must the sum of five numbers increase by to increase the mean by seven? Okay, so this is not as straightforward, but we're still using our equation or formula to find the mean. We still have the sum divided by count equal to the mean. Okay, so here we don't we don't know what those five numbers are. Okay, so we could just make up five numbers and you know find the mean of that and then keep on increasing our sum to figure out uh, how much we need to increase the sum by to increase the mean by seven. So let's take five numbers. One, two, three, four, and five. So the sum of those numbers is 15. There's five of those numbers. So 15 divided by five, our sum over count will give us three. Okay. All right, so we want to increase this by seven. So we want this mean to get up to 10. Well, so let's increase the, the sum by 5, let's say. So now we got 20 over 5. Okay, so now we got a mean of 4. Okay, so let's try a little bit more. You know, let's try 32 over 5. So that's increasing it by 17 so far. Next is 6.4. Okay, so not quite 10 yet. Uh, if I did 55 divided by 5, that's going to be 11. So we're over our 10. So you know, it's going to be somewhere between 32 and 55. So let's try 50. So 50 divided by 5, and that will give us the 10. Okay. So how much did we increase? Our sum by so it's 50. We end it with start with 15. Exists 35. So we increase sum by 35. Okay, so you can do all that work to figure out it was 35. But if you look at the formula, you now we have the sum over count, and we want to increase the sum by some number. So let's say that's x, increase it by x. And you want the mean to increase by 7. 
and we know there's five numbers, so it's going to be you know some sum plus x divided by five equal to the mean plus seven. I'm not going to split this up. The left side, sum plus x over five, the same as sum over five plus x over five equal to the mean plus seven. Okay, we know that the sum divided by five will equal the mean. So we know this will equal the mean. So that means that x over five will equal seven. Okay, and you just solve that in your normal algebra problem. X over five equals seven. Multiply both sides by five. X is equal to 35. Okay, so let's take another look at this. So whatever I increase the numerator by here is gonna be divided by the count. Okay, so that's what's going on here. Whatever I add to the top is gonna be divided by the bottom. Okay, and you get something divided by five to be seven. You need to multiply those two together, five and seven give you 35. So 35 divided by five gives us a seven. Okay, so that's where our reasoning comes in. We know the, the formula, but we need to go more in depth to see, you know, if we increase the sum by some amount, what is that gonna do to the mean? Okay, so now we know whatever we increase the sum by is gonna be divided by the count. And that new value, that additional amount divided by the count will equal, you know, the additional amount we add to the mean. Okay, so that involved some reasoning there. So this one says the mean of five tests is 84. If the lowest score is removed, the average of the remaining four tests is 92. What is the lowest score? Okay, so we had five tests. Their mean was 84. If we remove the lowest score, now the mean is 82. So what was that score that we removed? Okay, so again, we're still using you know, the sum over count equals the mean. Again, we don't have the five test scores. Okay, we don't have any of them, um, but we have this formula. We get, so what do we have? We have the mean, which is 84. We have the count, which is five. Do we have the, the sum? And actually, we do. Okay, the sum, if you, re if you rewrite this, you have the sum is equal to, multiply both sides by count, equal to the mean times the count. Okay, so our sum of all five test scores would be 84 times five. And that comes out to 420. Okay, we're moving one score, that's our unknown, we use a variable for that. And then we're, we only have four tests remaining, so we're dividing by four. So we can make a new equation here um, we're going to have some other sum, we'll call that sum 2, divided by 4, so we have 4 tests remaining, so that's going to be equal to 92. Okay, so what can we do here to solve this? We can basically turn this into an algebra problem. Okay, so we have our original sum which is 420. Okay, and we're gonna move one of the test scores. So we say minus x. Now this, the 420 minus x, will equal our sum of the four numbers, the four test scores. And we have four test scores, so we divide by four. And we want that mean to equal 92. Okay, to solve this, multiply both sides by four. This is 420 minus x equal to 92 times 4, which is 368. Okay, now subtract 420 from both sides. Because of negative x is equal to negative 52. Now we need to know what x is equal to, not negative x, so multiply both sides by negative 1. 
So x is equal to 52. Okay, so our lowest test score that got removed was 52. Okay, so again, we'd have apply some reasoning to this. So we have our normal equation, sum over count equals mean. And I know the total of those five test scores, the sum of those five test scores would be mean times the count. I'm going to remove one of them. That's our unknown value. So you have 420 minus x. And we have four test scores, so we're going to divide by four. That sum of the four test scores divided by four will equal the mean of 92. And we just solve for x there. Okay. So like I said, the math on the ACT, you know, starts out uh, like math you might see, you know, in your, your class that you might have at school, but then it turns into a reasoning test where you have to reason things out. You know, all the math itself is pretty basic, but the reasoning part comes in where you need to be able to set up the equation to solve for the, the unknown. Okay. So hopefully this video helped you understand how you can succeed the ACT math section so that so you need to know more than just the equation you need to know what it the equation means all the parts of it you need to understand what that means and when you have a problem you need to see how you can use that equation to solve the problem all right thanks for watching this video goodbye